Okay, so now let us review some of the concepts by solving some problems. Okay, so in this we will learn about making equations from statements. So here is our example. Write the following statements in the form of equations. So the first one says that the sum of 3 times x and 11 is 32. So 3 times x. Now let us try to solve the first one. So it says that the sum of 3 times x, which means 3 multiplied by x. Okay, and the sum, right? You need to sum it with 11. So 3 times x plus 11 gives me 32. Or if I don't want the sign, which is what we usually do, we can write this in a proper form saying 3x plus 11 equals 32. So this is our first equation. Let's look at the second one. It says if you subtract 5 from 6 times a number, we are supposed to subtract 5 from 6 times a number you get 7. Now here we don't have a variable so we can just assume a variable. This number we can just use, let's say I'm using a number n. Okay, so I need to subtract 5 from 6 times the number which is n. So let's say we have 6n which is 6 times the number. How much I need to subtract from it? 5. 6n minus 5. We get 7. So this is my equation. 6 n minus 5 is 7. Now this one is pretty interesting. The third one which says that 1 fourth of m is 3 more than 7. Or it means that if I divide m by 4 right then it is going to be 3 more than 7 that is 7 plus 3. Or you can say that if I subtract 3 from one fourth of a number then we will get 7. There are multiple ways to look at it. So because we want to give, uh, get an equation, right? So the way we are going to do is one fourth of m. That is m into one fourth, that is m by 4, is 3 more than 7. Which means I can write it m by 4 minus 3 equals 7. This is one way of writing it. Okay, m by 4 minus 3 is 7. 1 fourth of m is 3 more than 7. So I'm subtracting 3 here. If I add it to 3, then we'll get m, m by 4. Okay, now let's look at the fourth. 1 third of a number plus 5 is 8. Now this is a bit straightforward. Okay, the fourth one is straightforward. 1 third of a number. Let's take that number as q, right? q, one third of a number that is q by 3 plus 5, so I'm just adding 5 to it, it is equal to 8. So this is how we can form equations from statements. Now let us look at the other part that is going reverse. How do we make statements from equations? Now one thing you will realize here is that you will come across equations where you can convert it into a statement in multiple form. And I'll give you an example. So let's take the first one here. Now the first one says that x minus 5 equals 9. So what we can say about this is that if you subtract 5 from a number, you get 9. This is very simple, right? Subtracting 5 from a number gives 9. So this x minus 5 gives is equal to 9. A very simple one. The second one, 5p equals 20, right? So the way I can tell it is, if you multiply a number by 5, the resultant product is 20. Or 5 times a number equals 20. That's how you can write a statement for this one, the second one. Now let us look at the third one, which says that, 3n plus 7 equals 1. Okay, now there are multiple ways to look at this. So here you can say that 3 times a number, 3 times a number is 7 less than 1. You can say like that. It's 7 less than 1. Or to put it even in a simpler words, 
you can say that three when seven is added to three times number the result is one this is also a statement see there are multiple ways to look at the statements okay now let's look at the fourth one which ones is m by five minus two equals six so you can make the statement as one-fifth of n one-fifth of m is two more than six this is this is this statement we came up based on our earlier example that we just did earlier where we were converting uh, 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 statements into equations or you can also say that when 2 is subtracted from one fifth of a number the result is 6 you can do it that way also so there the, the thing to keep in mind here is the statement that you come up based on an equation should be such that when anybody else reads it they must be able to reconstruct the equation again without any doubt that is the only thing that we need to keep in mind by making the statements now let us look at some examples where we apply equations now the example here is Raju's father's age is five years more than three times Raju's age now Raju's father is 44 years old set up an equation to find Raju's age now if we read at this statement carefully we say that Raju's father's age is five years more than three times Raju's age so we know that Raju's father age is 44 years here but we don't know Raju's age so we can say that let Raju's age be X okay and now we know that his age is five years more than three times Raju's age so three times Raju's age is going to be 3x five years more add five and then that should be equal to Raju's father's age which is nothing but 44 years so 3x plus 5 equals 44 this is our equation this is how we can apply it practically so having said that and solving this sums We'll look at a few more sums in the next lecture.